Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A54 and see how this phone holds up in the middle part of 2023. Now this phone just came out earlier this year, it's only been a couple of months, and I got my hands on it and it's, it was a, kind of an interesting experience. It really maybe wouldn't be the first phone I'd recommend people to buy, but it's not a bad phone either. Now on the front of this thing, you are getting that 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display and it's a decent panel, definitely not a bad panel at all. It's interesting because it is 1080p, it's not the best panel in the world, but it's 120 hertz. And that's something that's pretty surprising on some of these budget tier kind of phones. You're still getting a pretty decent quality you know, screen on this thing. And I think that's a pretty cool thing that we have going on with this specific device just from that perspective. Now on top of that, you're getting USB-C on the bottom. You're also getting a micro SD card slot, which is something that's very surprising. Having phones like this that are cheaper that also have more I.O. than some of the newer flagships it's pretty insane. I really don't even understand why some of these manufacturers end up doing stuff like that. Now you're still maintaining, like I said, the plastic back on this thing like we've had on previous devices. Now we are getting, I think, a glass back on this phone, but I don't really, I'm not 100% too sure. But based off the spec sheet, it says it's a glass back, which is nice. We're getting the triple camera setup on this thing too. We're getting IP certification on this thing. We are also getting no wireless charging on this device or reverse wireless charging. So keep that in mind in the back of your head. But I do think overall this is not a bad phone at all and I do think that in and of itself is a really cool thing going for it. Now from the camera perspective, like I said, triple camera setup, wide ultra wide macro lens. So there is no telephoto lens on this thing, which honestly isn't really that bad. Being able to go ahead and at least having an ultra wide camera on your phone is pretty cool and I'm glad this thing has it. You're able to do 4K at 30 on the back and then you're able to do 4K at 30 on the front. I'm surprised they didn't just get 4K at 60 on either the front or the back, but again, maybe next year we'll be able to get it. But still, really not that bad of a camera on this thing. It's definitely, I've definitely had worse cameras than this thing before. And at the end of the day, it's definitely not a bad thing going for this specific device. Now, on top of that, with the Samsung Galaxy A54, software-wise, it's still supported with software. We're really not missing on it too much there. So we're still in good hands. You know, if we were in a weird situation, then maybe Samsung will stop this thing probably next year. But I do think this thing's probably going to be getting up until Android 15. So we still have a couple of more years of software on this thing. So I'm really happy and glad to see that kind of stuff going on with this device. Performance wise, this is probably the one area where I feel like Samsung could be doing a better job at. So we do have the Exynos 1380 chipset. I don't even know how fast that chipset is to be honest with six gigs of RAM on the base model, but it does go up to eight gigabytes of RAM. And like I mentioned, I do feel like this would be one of those classic cases where these manufacturers could go and kind of improve this, you know, kind of the performance on for some of these cheaper phones. I do feel like with the Galaxy 54, this is one of those areas where you kind of do see some of the, I guess, downsides of getting a phone like this. It's still kind of a smooth phone, but it's just not that fast of a phone. And like I said, that's just kind of what happens when you're getting a device like this at the end of the day. So to kind of sum it up, what I'll tell you is I definitely do think the Galaxy 54 still a good phone to buy. Like if you're in the market, then go for it. But I probably would just recommend buying something like a Galaxy S21 in the used market or even a Galaxy S22 in the used market. Those are going to be way better phones than this thing. And it's not like they're like completely different price tags. Like they're kind of in the same ballpark. So that's kind of how I would see this one, to be honest. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.